If you look up world's oldest holiday, a holiday that is still observed, you'll probably get New Year's. But that doesn't really count. New Year's was not one holiday. Different groups celebrated it in different ways, often with different calendars. And aside from marking the New Year, it doesn't commemorate anything, not an event or a person. So what is the world's oldest holiday? The answer is Passover. It's been celebrated continuously, in the same way, by the same group, and commemorates a single event. Jews have been doing this for more than 3,000 years. That alone is almost incredible. But Passover is not only the world's oldest holiday, it is also the world's most important holiday. I'll explain why in a moment. First, a word about the story of Passover. It celebrates the Jews' exodus from Egypt in approximately 1200 B.C., or BCE, as many academics now refer to it. The Israelites were slaves in Egypt for hundreds of years until, as described in the Hebrew Bible, the Egyptians suffered what are known as the Ten Plagues. Their Pharaoh, the Egyptian ruler, finally relented and allowed the Jews to leave. That's the story of the Exodus, the most widely known national event in Western history. And why is the Exodus so important? For the first time in history, the primary religious book of a civilization went on record as identifying its god with liberating slaves. The gods of every other nation either said nothing about slavery or endorsed it. But the god of the Exodus liberated an enslaved nation. And he not only liberated Jews, the book of Exodus records that a multitude of peoples left Egypt with the Jews. But didn't that book, specifically the book of Exodus, allow some forms of slavery? Yes, it did. But with the exception of captives in wartime, it did not allow slavery as we understand the term. Biblical slavery was what is known as indentured servitude, an institution that was so common throughout history, a large percentage of the Europeans who came to America in its early days came as indentured servants. This institution was not slavery. People who couldn't pay off their debts worked their way out of debt for a fixed length of time. In the Bible, that was six years. One powerful proof that the Exodus meant that God didn't approve of slavery is that the Exodus inspired enslaved people in different parts of the world to hope for freedom. For example, black Americans thoroughly identified with the Exodus and with the Israelites. The best-known black spiritual or religious folk song was Go Down Moses with its famous refrain, Let My People Go, the very words that Moses, the leader of the Israelites, repeatedly said to Pharaoh. Go down, Moses, way down in Egypt's land, tell all Pharaoh, let my people go. The lyrics of the song refer to Harriet Tubman, the famous runaway slave who later helped fellow slaves escape to freedom. She became known as the Black Moses and used Go Down Moses as a code to communicate with fleeing slaves. The Exodus not only inspired slaves in America, it equally inspired free people in America. Two of America's founders, Thomas Jefferson and Benjamin Franklin, designed a great seal for the United States. And what did that seal depict? The Exodus. Every year, for more than 3,000 years, Jews have kept the memory of the Exodus alive by celebrating Passover. The first night of the holiday features the dinner known as the Passover Seder, the Hebrew word for order. The Seder meal is conducted in a very specific order that ensures the story be told accurately and that anywhere a Jew goes in the world, he or she will be engaged in the same exact ritual. Adding to Passover's significance is the generally agreed to fact that Jesus' Last Supper was the Passover Seder. The New Testament Gospel of Mark records, on the first day of the festival of Matzah, that's the biblical name for Passover, it was customary to sacrifice the Passover lamb. So yes, Passover is the most important holiday in history. Telling the world that God is on the side of slaves, not masters. Were there no Passover? There would be no Jews, no Christians, no Western civilization, but a lot of slaves.
I deal with all this and much more in my book, part of the Rational Bible series, The Rational Passover Haggadah, the word for the book containing the Seder service. So that Jews, Christians, people of other faiths, and people of no faith understand the meaning and ongoing significance 3,000 years later of this oldest and greatest of all holidays. I'm Dennis Prager. Thank you for watching this video. To keep PragerU videos free, please consider making a tax-deductible donation.